Hi everyone, Andrew here for Abley Reviews, and today we are going to go over the galaxy map and route plotting. Um, so first of all, the galaxy map is basically going to be your best friend, and, and you get to it by pressing 1 on your keyboard, or of course just looking your head to the left hand side. Uh, once you sort of open up your navigation panel, you go over here on the left hand side and you'll see the galaxy map. You select that and boom, it is open. And it's essentially how you plot your journey throughout the stars. And it's so cool because if you were to zoom out, you actually can see the Milky Way galaxy and everything here is something you can actually visit and engage with. But let's go ahead and zoom in to get a little closer to sort of where we are. So right now, we're just sort of in this little local space. And we can see all these different points of, that we can essentially get to. Uh, but what's really neat about this, if you know of somewhere that's of interest to you, all you have to do is go to this search bar right here at the top, and then you just type in the location you want to visit. So one thing that I've never done yet, and I'm very excited about it, is I want to start visiting like where we're all living, right? I want to visit Earth. I want to see the moon. Um, I'm still working on that, but the next closest star to Earth minus our sun is Proxima Centauri. So let's see if we can't visit Proxima Centauri. Centauri. Perfect. So it's right there. And actually, I don't think it's that far from me. So once I have put it in, I just have to go ahead and click it. And then I can plot our course. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. You can see this is where we are. And then all we have to do is hold, hold our plot. So I just pressed A to select that section, and now I've created a plot path. And you can see it here with this lovely line. Uh, so then I can take my spaceship and go there. And what's really awesome is it's literally one jump away. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the back section. We can now see at the top of our navigation panel, the system we are in is Ross 154. And then our next jump is our destination, Alpha Centauri. So let's go ahead and auto launch and head towards that location. What's really cool about the uh, what's really cool about the navigation and galaxy map is it allows you to sort of plot large courses too. And then it'll let you know you're gonna run out of fuel and you're gonna need to fill up and all those kinds of cool things. From our perspective, this was really easy because it's just one jump away. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I think this is going to be a really fun um, thing to start doing is actually visiting uh, stars that I, I grew up, you know, learning about as a kid. Uh, I think that's going to be really fun um, to, to sort of find different, different places and all of our neighboring stars. Uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to see Alpha Centauri, Proxima Centauri, all those ones that were sort of where Bernard's star, right? Isn't that so cool? Like we've all heard of those things uh, when, when you were sort of studying the stars in school. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We just need to get away from the station we're heading towards. The station that we were just at. We'll boost away so we get there really quick and start to align ourselves with where we want to head. Perfect. Alpha Centauri, here we go. How exciting. I've been playing this game for a long time and I never once thought to actually go visit some of these locations. What I might have to do is start paying attention to NASA and some of those other space agencies to see what's like, you know, what's the cool stars to go visit. Uh, but here we go. Alpha Centauri, here we come. I always love these jumps. And we have made it. We made it to Alpha Centauri. So now from here, I can essentially visit our navigation panel again, and, and I can then visit all of these various locations within this space. So if we, oh, wrong button. So if we were to, to look at like points of interest, signal sources, settlements, planets, moons, asteroid clusters, all the cool stuff that could be in this area, we can then start to find all kinds of neat locations of interest. Uh, so there's Eden. These are all places and, and planets and, and celestial bodies that we have actually found, or at least seen with telescopes. So I hope this was helpful. I hope traveling the stars is a little easier for those of you that are just getting started. 
If you have additional questions, please feel free to throw those in the comments. Uh, these videos are intentionally made to be very simple and easy, so if you have suggestions or questions, uh, put them in the comments. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.